Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. We have another beautiful video review unboxing today from VIP Cross Stitch. Uh, I have some awesome product from the store already previous uh, review on my channel. And today we have another something very cute, something very awesome and something very, very comfortable um, to use if you are a crafty person. So let's start from this little tiny package right in here. This is pin cushion that they have in different colors. Uh, the only thing I would say they need to kind of have, usually it says no option to pick which color you want. Like in a website it would be five or six different designs, but it says that it's going to be random. Um, sent to you. I wish it would be actual, you can pick color, there would be nice uh, blending into your interior design, to your table, but this is kind of like a blindfold that you order and you look in what you're gonna get. So this one, I just like the design of this one. This one looks like almost like a pumpkin, uh, the way it's separated in here. It's a beautiful and a wooden board and I have one that I um, ordered before, but this one in a different shape and I believe they have also the shape. This is just a, a round shape, like a nice and smooth with some lace in the middle. And I just put a whole bunch of my pins in here and needles on one side and it's beautiful stain like this. So uh, yeah, I wanted to see the quality of this one. It looks like very, very sturdy, very sturdy, this little button. So you can put a whole bunch of, of your cushions, pins in here. Uh, if you can make a handmade, this is, uh, I made myself these pins, I like them. So I thought I would let you know that um, when you order, you never know kind of what you're gonna get. It's the random pick from the store. But I really like them. They are very handy to quickly, if you don't have a magnet maybe for your needle, and sometimes you need magnet and you need some pins to count maybe your canvas if it's a uh, counted cross stitch. So the pin cushion will be very handy to put whole bunch of even like those uh, little tiny one you can buy in Walmart uh, or even dollar store. So I would let you know that uh, I, I love them and maybe you will too. Okay, so this is one little cute one. That I decided to have another um, cute little thing in here, not even cute, this one is gorgeous. Uh, I did review one of the similar one, which is designed absolutely the same one. This one is just a different, um, different style of fabric, but designed the same and just to let you know you saw me when i go to campground you see this one it's the same one with the pocket up front with beautiful deer i also have those three holes in here on the top and this one is full with cross stitch canvases because it's going with me to a campground today in half an hour i will be leaving house to the campground and this one, this one, I will use just for yarn and uh, crochet needles and pins and those, all those tools and accessories uh, belong to crochet and uh, knitting. So I thought that this particular fabric is just gorgeous. Let me get to open. It's a very, very roomy, lots of room. We have a two pockets and here you can put, okay, first we need to close and open because that's how you know it's a brand new zipper. Uh, you can put a whole bunch of uh, tools in here and it's a good size. It's a, it's a long size, almost like in here to my arm, like the packet up front. Love the design, kind of like a vintage this rose or Victorian style, right? Victorian style. And if we just get this kind of like, for example, I brought with me 
<laughs> one bulky yarn so if we can pull out one piece and just uh, for the purpose of review we're going to put one inside to keep it clean uh, of course probably it will be better if this is round so when you pull it from from here it will untangle easy but that's the what's supposed to go like this and then you pull it your yarn stay clean and you just pull through the hole you can put three different colors but of course not the bulky big one like this one just like I you rewind them into the bowl so this is going to be my bag for yarn crochet hooks crochet this um, well anything that belongs like with yarn uh, even um, a large hook tools I can keep in here so everything that uh, belong to yarn so I I love it love it love it this design is very beautiful and they also have a different shape more in around the tall one like the one I showed you before with the deer and I believe the deer is also from VIP cross stitch from the same store okay this is absolutely awesome stuff. I love it. I love it. You can use it for absolutely anything. It doesn't matter that it's blown to yarn because of those holes. You can use for anything. Another little thing I have in here is the bookworm. For those who like to read a lot and Catherine like to read a lot. She's already picking a book which she will take with her to the campground. And I thought I can make it for her, this one. He is adorable, smiling, sitting on the top of the books. Uh, we have in here 10 colors. And that is a plastic canvas. Double sided, or you can make it two of them, or whatever you desire it's actually very nice you can use a stitch on one and then stitch together to kind of keep all the bad stuff on the other side or just put even something else fabric or felt on another side and create two of them which is I would probably would do two of them instead of making a back and back and I can do from something else um, this plastic canvas is really really good it's very nice to work with I already created feather uh, bookmark with this kind of canvas it's very soft feels very nice and silky kind of but it is plastic it is plastic also in this kit we have pen uh, water uh, erase pen if you need to mark it up and then we have in here two very thin needles very thin needles well I would say these needles are so thin that it's almost like a beaten needles two of them in here super super thin uh, usually I use uh, like the needle from my 14 count Ada this one is good for the beading because it's so thin and then we have a tassel in blue color not exactly straight ends if you want this to be more perfect you can definitely just trim a little bit more a little bit more trim, trim to make a like more even ends but that doesn't matter to me and here is the threads what we have okay tingle up so much that I cannot figure out okay let's see let's see let's untangle okay there you go and here is the colors so this is very cute little project to do and I think maybe I even should take it with me this to the campground and work together I, um, it's accounting I don't know what would be better uh, at home or with me but uh, I love the little guy he is super cute 
so there you go if you have a kids who like to read a lot you should make them book more now we have a two canvases this is going to be like a very quick video look at the how colorful I think you will love this design ready are you ready look how adorable look at the moose of a rabbit face <laughs> I'm dying <laughs> oh my god look at this tooth oh that's a tooth tooth <laughs> his uh, ears and the deer what else we have a bird look normal but this uh, deer rabbit cracking me up this one kind of look cute sitting like hmm <laughs> what's in that box I mean bag of goodies he has decoration on his uh, antlers and funny cartoonish Santa so this is just a very cute and adorable I say with you know <laughs> okay excuse me I can't talk it's too funny the rabbit looks really really fun to me so the jungle carnival I don't know why jungle because jungle that would be like a monkeys and crocodiles <laughs> I don't think rabbits can live in the jungle. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, uh, the jungle carnival. 14 count Ada, 27 by 32 centimeters. We have a little bit of the backstitch. Well, kind of like a, every character a little bit outlined. If we can look, send a little bit, uh, yeah. So very, very bright and cheery. <laughs> pattern now how many colors we have in here full stitch 26 colors then we have a French knot in two colors probably for the eyes yeah for the eyes and I see on the bag oh okay if I can show you like this all those white dots like a snowflakes that's the French knots up there up there on the bag that's the French knots and then we have in here backstitch in four colors so basically our characters is outlined and let's see the Santa himself there very cute little canvas you can uh, stitch this and just frame and put on a table as a decoration and I think that's just perfect for the little kid for the night table to cheer them up and wait for Santa and they always will make them smile by looking on those characters because they are adorable hopefully I can stitch this maybe before this coming uh, Christmas that would be amazing because it's so cute it's so cute and the canvas uh, pretty much like a medium stiffness it's still flexible you can hold it in your hands if you want to and we have in here two needles as always love that Joyson they always uh, over stitch all the edges so it doesn't fray and here this very nice and bright cheery colors there Okay, so this is one and we have one more like I just love these characters they're so cute adorable adorable and this one is just um, probably everybody already see this design because it was very popular years and years ago from dimensions if I can show you the snowman in the head that feed birds with the seeds from the head uh, yeah this is was back years ago was very very popular and the people still stitching lots of girls have their in their stash as account at cross stitch and to have printed canvas it's pretty cool because you can do work this and enjoy your life you don't have to stress yourself out by counting and look at that the snowman is cute I love the hat hat has lots of 
uh, wrinkles, edges, like um, color, uh, depth of the, you know, what is the deep side of the hat. So the colors on it is really good. Lots of birds in here. How many birds we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, diff no, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven birds. Seven birds came to eat all together. And I have to tell you, this one, um, no, it's not. I thought it's a blue jay, but it's not. When blue jay eat, OMG, there's no other birds who will be having the same food together. They usually kick everybody off, especially the good competitors with the squirrels, uh, blue jay, but no, no blue jay in here. Uh, size of this one, 44 by 33 centimeters in 14 count, of course. And let's see, I uh, also have a back stitching. I see lots of back stitching, outlining, even seeds. Um, yeah, lots of back stitching. So it's not like very, very beginner, but trust me, it's so easy to do back stitch. So never afraid to do, challenge yourself, okay? Challenge yourself. Watch all my videos, watch my tutorials. I have tutorials of back stitch, I have tutorials of French knots. Actually, I have a two different tutorials of the back stitch. Mm, and tutorial with the gold thread so you should uh, feel really comfortable right now to work on some of the, your design so this one have 37 colors in full stitch we have french knots in two colors and that is so far what i see for the eyes the center of the bird so it's like one french knot in each bird no this one doesn't even have bird i see one bird two not everybody oh no my no some have some not so just a few french knots and they are very easy to do uh also back stitching here in six colors now let's see the canvas canvas also look not very big a little bit bigger than the other one but nice cheery print no confetti it's really easy go all colors like one color you you start and you finish um, because it would like all connect together nicely those birch trees I love them yeah uh, in stitches in stitches is 198 by 141 and let's see all those sudden blue and gray colors we have very thin is they always feels like this one even thinner needle than usually this 14 count data wow very very short needles like it's so tiny needle look if I can show you close it's like I don't know maybe like uh, two centimeters no well that would be like a one centimeter two and a half maybe I don't know very looks very short and tiny uh, but here is the colors I uh, love the blue and purples combination always looks good on cross stitch And in here, kind of two palettes will be overlap, but that's okay. I think you will see the all the colors what's in here. There. Okay, mostly blue and gray, and of course some brown for the birds. So yeah, that's it for today. That that's all we have today. A uh, few of the organizers and tools. So I would say this will be very nice when you stitch and you have some needle. You can even pre-thread your needles and put in here. So when you work in, you already have some ready. Lots of people do that. Uh, if you have like a place to store later, you can put even on a little like a plastic container later with the needle already staying in it. If you have little kids or pets and you don't want a needle get on a loose. Uh, but 
they are very comfortable to work and I use my the other one very often actually yeah because even I have uh, my magnet I still sometimes use them the other one too and plus it's a pretty if you're making your own pins uh, and I think I will do some video we will make together some more pins with the pearls that I have uh, with my I wanted to do this week but didn't have time so we will put some more pins into the new cushion and they just beautiful make a beautiful display on your work table yes and of course this one highly recommend or this one or with deer maybe they even have already different designs I love the roses part nice and kind of green color looks beautiful this nice roses I like it very good quality the zipper done very well there's like nothing you can say like it done very very nice very good quality bags I love that that's why I want to have them too one for cross stitch and one for all my yarn and tools hooks and uh, needles all that good stuff okay my friends thank you for staying with me for this video review and of course a huge thank you to VIP cross stitch for this package uh, that I've received from them to review to you I do appreciate and thank you for your support of my channel I will see you tomorrow.